I'm actually wearing camouflage head to toe. And maybe you can't tell that right now, but I'll prove it by switching on this camera right up here. Check it out. This is Marpat, head to foot. These are all different types. This right here, you're looking at True Spec. This is one of their H2O proof beanies, I believe. This is a proper top, and these are the True Spec H2O pants. And you can see that the, uh, the amount of light that's sent back to a night vision device is totally different based on uh, what kind of inks they use, maybe what materials they use. So we're gonna take a look at a few of those today. We have been testing out some night vision devices from Night Optics. Uh, they're, they're a relatively new company as far as I know. And we're getting some reviews out there because uh, these products really are quite nice. We've been using them to uh, do some hunting out at night and uh, just we were able to uh, bag a couple coyotes just about a week ago. Uh, I was really jazzed about that. We went out on a bunch of other excursions to try to hunt pigs and we just didn't have the right attractants and whatever. We ended up using some calls and we brought in some coyotes and uh, we were able to tag a couple of those that had eaten one of our, uh, one of our friend's dogs. So that's a, a pretty nasty business. So yeah, we're going to take a look at camouflage, we're going to take a look at anodizing, uh, paint, and some of the other things you might be using to try to conceal yourself and show just how, you know, some of these really don't work when it comes to night vision. Some of these actually light up quite brightly. I'm Kyle Broderick, I'm the Social Regressive. Welcome aboard. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, hit the notification button. Uh, that will actually let you know when new videos come out because YouTube, they aren't really big fans of uh, those of us living in the more uh, free sector of the world right now. Uh, but yeah, let's get to it. Let's see what some of these camouflages actually look like under night vision. Now we're looking at three different ones. The hat is Paramount Outdoors. This is a, it looks a lot like Realtree. It might, it might actually be a Realtree pattern. I think it might be. The top is Remington, and I believe it is real tree as well. And then the uh, the pants; these are mossy oak, Advantage Timber. The night vision device that you're looking through right now is the Night Optic Century 14. It basically takes the same PVS 14 kind of exterior dimensions and then wraps them up with Night Optics' own proprietary uh, Brilliance 3 intensifier, which seems to take the, a lot of the Gen 3 technology and reduce the price quite a bit. So I'm going to put a link to the, uh, the this Sentry 14 and this right here. This is the, uh, the actual rifle scope that we've been testing out. This is a 4X uh, Brilliance 3 intensifier, same thing. Uh, this is the Night Optics D750, and this has performed brilliantly in the hunt that we did. Uh, this really is quite nice. The image is beautiful through here. You can see all kinds of detail and especially when you couple it with an intensifier or excuse me an illuminator like we have actually pointed at us right now uh, you can really get some good reflection off retinas. I don't know if you can actually see that in my eyes right now but uh, yeah it's a great way to be able to spot game, great way to hunt at night and deal with some pest animals just like we did. Dawn is quickly sneaking up on us, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the, the last of these just really quickly. Uh, okay, I'm still wearing that real tree that I got from Walmart. This is just a, a pure cotton, I believe. This doesn't have any polyester in it at all. You can see that this is very effective under the, uh, the night vision. And I've swapped out to these, I think, Belgian military pants. These are a 60-40 poly cotton blend. These are quite heavy, so we'll see how these things do. And then on my back, I have a, uh, this is an actual, uh, made by proper, I believe. This is an actual military issue assault pack that goes with the Marine ILB system, the ILB Improved Load Bearing Equipment System. I should mention that the boots that I'm wearing are the True Spec Side Zip boots. They're really comfy and I've been testing them in a variety of situations, including hunting and just some uh, kind of day hiking. Uh, I'm really enjoying them and I'll be doing a full video on these later. You can see that, uh, they don't reflect back much, so that's good. This is an actual Marines issue tarpaulin, or if you're British, tarpaulin. 
This is pretty much all polyester, if I remember correctly. It's very lightweight, really nice tarp. It's too bad that we can't really get these just, you know, buying them off the shelf. Uh, pretty much when you get these back and you buy them on surplus, they're in tatters. This one only has a few holes. I was pretty lucky with this one. These are my true spec expedition pants. These are ridiculously comfortable. And again, I'll be doing a full review on these. Uh, these are just fabulous. They feel great. I've had them out hunting here in the middle of an Oklahoma summer and I have not really been that uncomfortable in these. They breathe well, they have all kinds of neat stretchy places so it's easier to get over barbed wire fences and things like that. Uh, yeah, these feel really good and you can see that the camouflage works a little bit but you do lose a little bit in there. These are Gap, really inexpensive cotton camouflage pants. Uh, these are these are pretty cheesy. They, they did rip the first time that I went over a barbed wire fence right in the crotch. Uh, they're, they're pretty comfy to wear around, I guess, but uh, aside from that, these are not hardcore. Now here's where things get fun. This is an Army Issue ACU top. So this is probably going to be mostly nylon, if I remember correctly. I'll have to check on that. They might have changed these a little bit later on. But these were pretty heavily nylon and cotton. And here's where things get really fun. Check this out. This is a, just a tiny little dot right here, this little infrared reflector. And this is what folks in the Army wear for safety. They can put a little patch over this and, you know, so they can remain hidden, they can remain concealed if there is night vision about. But if they want to be seen by somebody like a rescue helicopter, they can just unveil that. And this tiny little postage stamp, this is what I use to get a bounce with the um, uh, the Nikon Monarch 3000 rangefinder in order to figure out my distance to a target. I picked this tiny little dot up, and believe it or not, at 1,283 point something yards. And yeah, I got a, a clean bounce off this a couple different times. This is a really amazing little thing. And if you want to check out the full review of that rangefinder, I recommend it. It's, it really is quite nice. You can stand and take your, uh, you can estimate your distance, or actually determine your distances using that thing and you don't have to uh, like lean up against something in order to get stable. It, it automatically has a gyro stabilizer built into it. And now for the high visibility vest. This is that kind of fire engine yellowy green and this has some reflective material on it right here. This is pretty standard what you would buy at the store. All right, and now for some odd items. We've taken a look at clothing. Now let's take a look at some other camouflage things that you might have. For instance, you might expect that your rifle parts on your AR-15 are not going to be highlighted by infrared. They're not gonna bounce off really well. And if they're parkerized, that's true. However, if they are anodized, like with this rifle scope right here, this is actually a black anodized aluminum rifle scope. This is like anything that you would buy. And you can see that infrared bounces off this as if it were just plain silver, as if this were a giant reflector. However, you can fix this. A while back I put together some videos showing how you can use Duracoat to make a really nice camouflage pattern that works during the day. And check it out, it works at night as well. Make sure you check out those videos. The last thing I wanted to take a look at is paracord. This is my woodland camo paracord right here, and you can see that the camouflage does indeed work, even under infrared. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see when new videos come out. We are doing all kinds of neat tests coming up in the future. We're reviewing different rifles like the Savage 110 Scout. We have a new build series coming up. I've been promising that for a long time, and I swear, it's right on the cusp. I'm about to launch that thing. And then we also have some really neat playlists in the past. You should go back and check out some of the things that we've done before. Because, for example, we've tested different ammunition and what it sounds like going past a microphone at different distances. Anywhere from 25 yards all the way back to 600. What does your game actually hear when a bullet goes by? And doing these tests and shooting subsonics, we actually found that Hollywood pew sound that everybody thought was a myth. I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching. 
If you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.